All right, what is happening, folks? It's your boy Calvin Aaron Uh, to, so today, if, uh, if you guys heard, we got uh, another reveal trailer, a uh, weekly trailer, of course, from Tekken Eight. So today's trailer will be uh, Steve Fox. A uh, long time in the making, but let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into it. I mean that. I shall see some boss in here. Get ready for the next battle. Counterpunch versus Paragon. <laughs> New challenger. <laughs> oh my God. Let's go. Oh, he looks so ugly. <laughs> what? They did this guy so dirty. Shattered glass now? Oh my gosh. I don't know if that's his punching or that's his looks. <laughs> oh my god, this is so good. When it comes to who talks the most, you definitely win. I kinda suspect the interaction between him and Horang. Down forward, one plus two is uh, uh gains the heat. Okay. What the heck? They got him with a clutch now. <laughs> now this is what I call fun. That's a knockout. Good night. These are the fists of a champion. <laughs> oh my gosh. He may look a little goofy, but hey, uh, let me see this gameplay looks nice. <laughs> All right, uh, let's get right into uh, his render right here. Um, I honestly like this outfit. Uh, looks pretty nice. You know, it's like they're referring to uh, his, you know, outside the ring outfit. So this probably tells me that this is gonna, um, he's gonna take a crucial part of the story, uh, at least a side story. Of, um, hopefully we can uh, know more about um, the uh, relations with him and Nina. I we'll hope they clear a little bit more about that, um, and they go a little bit further with uh, what they're gonna. Uh, how they're gonna push them forward. Uh, I like the jacket right here. Uh, like the pants. Um, sh showing his uh British side and his shoes and the gloves. I mean, the gloves uh, could be a little bit better, but I think they're uh, they're still pretty subtle. Um, nothing um nothing crazy going on. But oh my god, the face model. Why did they... this face model looks so much better in the rendered than the actual game? I feel like godly. Ugh. I feel bad for you guys, for your Steve players, because he does not deserve this. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to the actual trailer and um, slow down the gameplay. Leg speed. Slow it down a little bit. Oh my gosh, look at this. Like, it looks like a girl, bro. <laughs> Why did they do that to him? Oh my god, they could have done better than that. Like, I can, I can definitely see why they did, uh, they <laughs> put him in the, uh, the, the closed beta test. Uh, hopefully they restructured this character's, uh, uh, facial expressions and, uh, model, uh, at, at some point, because... Oh yeah, yeah. This is embarrassing. Let's go. So he does have like the same um, set. Nothing new right here. But I do, I do really like this, uh, this scene. Let's go. So he uh, breaks the glass right here. 
Ugh. Like, that is cool. Um, that is something that's never been in the game before. So I'm glad they implemented it, uh, particularly for Steve. So it doesn't look like he had the guard break. So that four one plus two. So I think that's a new move right there for a wall ender. When it comes to who talks the most, you definitely win. Oh, I like this picture right here. This this is really cool. I don't know why what whole rank say um, landing the most punches because he kicks more, but oh well. Mm. So hold on, a little bit more, a little bit more. <laughs> So right here, if, um, this is the whole race back three. Um, launch Punch Wolf, it's like minus 16 at the very least. I don't know exactly, I can't remember the top of my head. At least we're taking eight. Uh, so Steve probably could launch this, but they just want to show what he can do. This is just a trailer. But I do like the sequence here. If, uh, don't know what that move is, uh, but into the uh, Heat Burst. I kind of suspect that to happen uh, off of the um, move for down four one plus two, because um, that was his rage drive. So kind of glad they uh, they basically don't revert that over to heat. Oh! oh, this is cool. The guard break right there. Now I think this is like a like kind of like a a Marduk situation. Where he tackles you on the ground, you have like options to do after that in that position. Looks like he's in the clinch, and you, uh, you're in that position, uh, and you have to do a, like basically a 50 50. Um, let me if I can rewind it like a second. You see how it's like, like whole like a complete pause right here. So this looks like there's like um uh, an escape option and uh, a damage option for uh, for Steve right here. So it's coming to the point where a player. The, the defender has to um, guess, try to escape that option, or or else that uh, that player is going to have to take some damage. Um, I do see this quite in boxing, but it's like, you know, a push off. I don't watch a lot of boxing all that much, but uh, when I do, uh, that's, that's usually just what happens. So, uh, pretty cool. So, that's actually very creative in Bandai. Like, they're actually... Um, when they're like referencing these characters off of you know f like real life uh, moves, like Steve in boxing, of course you see that uh, clinches in boxing, um, King in wrestling, you see more moves, so that's actually very cool. Dash, heat dash, I should say. Traditional combo. Now his rage art. this is what I call. It's cool. Not the best rage art I've seen, but definitely has a lot of flair in it. Uh. I mean, I honestly think it should land right on the chin, like right here. I think that's more, well, more of a boxing tradition. But the gut, I mean, that hurts too. <laughs> like, when you think of boxing, you think about, you know, straight knockout, putting people to sleep on the floor. Not. Yeah. These are the fists of a champion. Oh my gosh. What did they do to this guy? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh yikes. Uh Okay, I don't want to talk any more to that, uh, because I don't play Steve myself, but, um, I felt bad for you guys, that's all I gotta say. But, that'll be it for today, hope you guys all enjoy it, um, leave a comment down below <laughs> if you guys got any, uh, thoughts on it, or, uh, 
also uh, leave a comment down with me if I missed something. Uh, I didn't really talk about the gameplay because that, uh, that could really be changed anytime soon. So that's what I talk about. Let's just talk about the uh, the presentation. But yeah, uh, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.